All right, guys, so what's up? I'm here with Dawson right now. Welcome to a new video whereby I'm going to bring up one of the cameras which I haven't used in quite a while. Uh, the EM1, which is a 4K uh, Micro Four Thirds camera. The good thing about being a Micro Four Thirds sensor camera is that you can use Panasonic and Olympus lenses uh, on the, on this camera as well, so it's interchangeable. So that's pretty cool. So one thing I didn't test out from the time that I was using the EM1, I was always shooting at 4K 30 frames per second, which did not have, or you could not use the electronic image stabilization on the EM1. So um, I always wondered at 10, 1080p 60 frames per second with the EIS, whether or not the, the image quality or the stabilization, uh, how good the performance of the EIS would be on the EM1. So today that's what I'm going to test out. And since it's a micro four thirds sensor camera, I have also thrown in uh, my Panasonic Lumix 12 to 60 millimeter f 3.5 to 5.6 lens with optical image stabilization. Basically, I'm going to test out whether or not with a lens with the stabilization, whether it does actually work on a, uh, for example, the EM1. So that's what we're going to test out today. The EM1 with the EIS and no lens stabilization. And then we're going to see if there's any difference or whether or not the uh, lens stabilization on a, for example, a Lumix lens, whether or not it works on the uh, EM1. So after this video, if you see whether or not the lens stabilization works, if it does, you can skip the whole EM1 kit lens altogether and just get a uh, another brand of Micro Four Thirds lenses with the stabilization. There are also some Sigma lenses as well uh, for Micro Four Thirds that have stabilization, the more expensive ones. So let's get to it. Okay, so right now we are at the park again where the pond is. I'm shooting at 1080p 60 frames per second. And you can see Dawson there. I'm using the EIS mode uh, on the camera as well. I'm, so I'm using the uh, 12 to 60 millimeter f 3.5 to 5.6 with power OIS Lumix lens uh, on a something like a uh, handheld tripod. So just walking and then we're gonna see how's the stabilization and then we're gonna remove this lens and throw on a non lens then we're gonna throw on a non stabilized lens the Sigma 19 millimeter f 2.8 lens to see if to see how good the EIS is on the EM1 and also to see if the lens stabilization does work on the EM1 so there'll be some sort of dual IS kind of feature if the lens stabilization on the Lumix does work with the EM1's EIS so far it looks pretty good nice this face detection as well seems to be doing a good job so let's feed the turtles oops sorry Here I am, arm's length vlogging style. Not so sure if it's my face is in frame because this camera doesn't have an articulated screen, so I'm walking handheld on a tripod and just gonna check out the stabilization as well, vlogging style. You ready? Let's go. Very, very uneven ground as well, as you can see. The feel is super uneven. So just how much will the stabilization work? There's even some like sort of portholes, pod holes. So this is the pond. I see the turtles. Woo. Let's go Dawson. I see the birds as well. Oh nice. Throw again. Throw quick. Back. Yeah, just throw. You will see. Yeah, there. Clever boy. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Daddy eat. Yeah, you, you got any more? Yeah, you can't look at Ukwe, Ukwe Mama. That's one here. Oh, that's one eating as well. True. Oh, uh, you eat it, yeah. One day, eat. Is it the big one here? The big turtle? So big. Okay, so right now we are still at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, but with the EIS still on, but what's different is that we have changed the lens to the Sigma 19mm f to the Sigma 19mm f 2.8 lens without lens stabilization so how much difference will it uh, have on the uh, handheld walking or vlogging style like this right right now I think I'm really really close up because this is a crop camera plus it's 19 millimeters so handheld shots as well without lens stabilization oh. Face detection feature, pretty pretty impressive face detection. The turtles, it's a giant turtle there. It's the big one, all right, Dawson. Give the big one. Give the big turtle. This has no articulating screen, so it's really hard to see, especially if the subject's so short, like my son. So again, no lens stabilization, just the EIS at 1080p 60 frames per second on the EM1. Face detection, handheld walking on an uneven ground with a tripod mm. Do you think the biscuit? <laughs> So basically, from my perspective, there's not much to compare, there are very minor differences. The colors look slightly better on the Lumix lens than the Sigma lens, but if you look close enough, seems like the non-OIS lens looks slightly noisier than the lens with OIS. But overall, the EIS on the EM1 is actually really good. Post your comments of what you think. And thanks guys for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.